Hello everybody, I am Jupiter XOXO and this is another episode of Let's Look at Don't Starve. So there's been a recent update for this game and uh, there's been a quite a bit of stuff that's added on, including a new game mechanic. The game mechanic of spoiling food. Alright, so first things first, I am going to unlock the ice box. Alright, and I'm going to make a couple of these refrigerators. As you can see, the, the food items that I have now are green in color on the background. This means that the spoilage of the food is um, not quite high yet. If it's green colored, that means you can eat the food with no problems. Uh, but as the food spoils, this green color disappears and you will no longer be able to eat that food source. Alright, so I'm going to make myself a... Uh, I'm going to make two refrigerators. What was it that I needed again? And wood pieces. All right. I think I have some wood around here. Don't quite like walking in the dark. All right. I've got some wood now. Now let's go and make my refrigerator in these outer two portions. Uh, right. I'm going to be needing the hammer. Oh my god, where is my hammer? It's here. Okay, uh, equip this. Out of my way, please. Okay, this is good. Take everything I have. I'll drop anything that I can't use at the moment. Right over here. I'm trying to make it so that it is uh, it's a mirror image on both sides. No pig, you can't eat my honey. Oh no, no, no! The pigs can really just eat your food dry, so I don't want him to do that, obviously. Get out of here, pig. Oh, uh, yeah, I need refined stones. I was thinking, why couldn't I make it before? Alright, I'll drop some of these monster meat here. And I will refine my normal stone pieces into cut stone. Now I can make my, uh, my refrigerator right over here. Oh, is this still too close? Hmm. I guess it is. Well, I guess I'll destroy my... my stuff right there. I'll put my ice box down, but it's still... still too much stuff everywhere. Seems I'm putting everything further away. It's truly a hassle to try to... Get out of here, big! I didn't want to kill him, but... It's messing up my plans. So he had to go. The worst part is... If the hounds come by right now, I would be totally screwed. Because the hounds would just eat everything on the floor. And I wouldn't, couldn't do anything about it. I believe there is a spider queen on my island as well. So I'll have to deal with her once I am done. Also, they've made it so that you can no longer craft spider queen hats. Uh, instead, you have you can um instead you can you have to kill a spider queen and wear her head as a hat. So you can't craft it anymore. Alright, I don't really care about anything that I that is not a food source. Right now, I'm just gonna play around the space right here. It doesn't matter if my cam is a mess. Because it's going to be a mess for a long time. Alright, destroy this box as well. Seriously, this stuff can go anywhere. I, I don't know why I just had to put the two refrigerators near the fire in a uh, symmetrical fashion. I could just place it anywhere I like. But symmetry 
looks better, so I will keep it that way. I'm gonna move these uh, spikes a little further so that it don't, they don't block the place that I'm going to put the refrigerator. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of time for the food to uh, really rot away. It takes something like maybe 40 days for honey to rot away, so everything else is um, relatively long as well. Something like 10 days for food to rot away, so no worries. The ice box, the, the refrigerator just slows it down even further. Alright, come on. Right over here. Is that bad? I guess I gotta clear this stuff even further. Alright. I should be able to make an ice box right over here. There you go. Alright, now that that's done, I gotta go and um, make another two chests. Treasure chest over here. One treasure chest over here. Huh, strange. The ice box can't be placed next to the treasure chest, but the treasure chest can be placed next to the ice box. Really strange. As you can see, the game mechanics isn't perfectly done yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wrong object. Alright. The berries go in here. Oh, those were uncooked berries. Place the cooked berries in here. I'd probably eat these instead of, uh... I better start a fire first. Charcoal. Drop it here. And I'll spend this night organizing. I need to pick up my meat again. The eggs can be just dropped down there to fire. You know what? I'm gonna hatch these. Since you can make a uh, teen. Uh, you can hatch the birds and they can become teens now. The baby birds will become teenagers, but when they become adults, they will still leave you. Yeah, so the baby birds can become teenagers and then they can grow further and when they become an adult they will leave you. I think at that time they will become uh, one of those angry mobs. So. Alright, so I placed my original stuff in here. I want to know if the monster meat rots. Yeah, the monster meat rots. Well, when a food source fully rots, you can no longer eat it but you can use it as fertilizer. Kind of makes sense. Honey obviously doesn't rot as fast. Well, that that's true because um, I remember reading about how people found honey from the Egyptian days and they could still eat honey that was uh, used to use as glue in uh, the old days. So it makes sense that Honey lasts the longest. Alright. I only have two pieces of those here. Oh well. I'll just store my spare food in here as well. Honey I think still heals the most. So uh, it has its uses. And if you can hear in the background. That, that, that is the hounds coming on by. So I'm going to take my ogre eggs and ready for the hounds. I don't think I have enough time to craft myself a better a better armor set because mine is running out right now. But what can I do about it? Ah, oh, damn it! The, the hounds have come. Damn you! 
way too much. Okay, great. My, uh... My armor set has ran out. And I'm totally screwed. I, I don't even think I have pigs in this uh, area. I'm not sure if I can survive this, frankly. Yeah, I'm totally dead. Unless I could drag them near my... Uh, Yep, I'm dead. Totally screwed. Well, luckily, I have a lot of these, uh... Tentacle spikes! Pick up some logs and rope. And build myself a log suit. Quickly now, quickly now. I'm trying to tough it out. Was I attacking the bees by accident before? That's annoying. Oh well. Let me pick up everything that I have left. I dropped. Oh, yep. Drop. No, 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 no! I didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever. That was kind of tough. I was caught completely unprepared. Alright, let me put back my stuff. This goes inside this uh, backpack, I think. Yeah. And the backpack can go here. My rocks should go inside this bag over here. As you can see, later, when as long, the longer you survive in this game, the more ruthless the enemies become. Originally, the the dogs when they invade me, they come in packs of maybe five, four or five. Now they come in packs of ten and and up. So it gets more and more difficult trying to fight them. Oh, seems like a firehound is left. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it, my ropes. My ropes are gone. That totally sucks. Well, luckily, my farm is still there, so. So there's at least one upside. I need to get back my tentacle spikes. And, uh. Put them back inside my treasure chest. Alright, this is good. Even though I had honey before, I couldn't eat them to heal myself. Because if I spend the time to eat the honey, I would have gotten hit and I would have died. Alright, so I have a tall bird egg. Might as well place it out here to hatch it. The eggs don't seem to have any uh, expiration date. So, you can use them for a long time. This is my toolbox and I want to keep my rope in here then. I really need to make myself another one of those uh, low, uh, those uh, sleeping those flutes because the flutes is the only thing that you can use to prevent certain death. Where can I go make it? I think it's a magic section. I need one rope to do this. I think I have five rope left, so I will make one of these flutes. All right, this is good. 
basically spent two days doing nothing but organizing. Not to mention, I still have a spider queen around that I have to take care of. A hammer, a tentacle spike here. Where do I put these two? I think I put them inside this one, no? Then it's gotta be inside this one? I guess not. Do I have any other stuff left here? Nope, I don't. Alright, let's pick up everything that's on the floor. Nighttime is here again. Hopefully I won't have another hounds attack. They usually come in um, something like every fifth day or so, so... I have something like four days to rest. Alright, alright, alright. This should be here. The hammer should go back in there. I don't really need these two tools, but I plan to go exploring later, so it's better to have them. This could go in there. Oh, by the way, foods such as uh, these honey ham, they can stack now. I'll feed my little bird my uh, my seeds. I'll eat some myself. A trick that you can use regarding spoiling food is you should keep food in their raw state. For example, these berries, if you keep the berries in the non-cooked fashion, and let them decay to halfway, and then you cook them, they become uh, not spoiled anymore. So you could do this to uh, carry around with you a longer stack of food. Not to mention cooked meat, uh, cooked food ge heals your hunger bar more. Also, the hunger bar has been increased. If you guys haven't noticed it, it goes all the way up to 200, so you can survive many days without food. My tall bird egg is shivering, so I've got to put it near the fire. That should be better for you. Seeds should be feed, fed to the bird to keep Krampus away. And my hounds too fighting, I stored them inside this one. And always keep the bonfire as bright as you can. Oh, my tall bird egg. I might as well put you in here. Alright, what else do I have that I need taken care of? Ah, right. I need to remove that broken... Wood effigy. There you go. I also gotta make more pig houses. But it seems like I don't have enough materials to make much. I need uh, three, um, three cut stones. I don't have enough. I gotta go farming for cut stones soon. Bird egg, you can go back in there. I'll take this ham with me. And I'll cook it because it seems like it's spoiling. This should be enough for now. Well, for fun, I'm gonna walk around, check out my camp. As you can see, I placed the um, this grassy-looking floor underneath my farms here. And I placed it under the flowers as well, so there is symmetry between the two. This is my grass farm, and I remember that my ropes were completely burnt. So I'm gonna get some grass to make some more ropes. The next thing that I need to do is...
go and get a pack of pigs so that we can go queen hunting. I am pretty sure that there is a queen walking around on my island, so I need to take care of her. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take every all of the grass because I do need the ropes. So gonna get the grass first. The best way of aligning a farm is to make it so that they are in a row with each other. This way you could just click down. And you would pick one right after the other. Ah, 40 is enough. I will refine these into rope. Alright, that's it. I have 13 rope for now, and that's uh, better than nothing. And I'm running out of coal too. When did that happen? Oh well. How many pigs do I have? Well, that should be enough. So I'm gonna give you one. And I'm going to give you one. Three pigs should be enough to take care of a spider queen, right? I'll just go make it safe and make it four pigs. Spider queen, there it is. Go pigs, go, 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 attack it. All right. Now, uh, why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice job, guys. Huh. Ah, oh, there you go, see? The Spider Queens now drop spider hats. You can no longer craft them, but it doesn't mean that you can't pick them up. It's still an infinite uh, item source. Alright, so I lost one pig in that fight. That's not bad. Spider eggs should be kept inside this backpack of mine. And I got an extra spider queen hat. Alright. Well, pigs don't follow me anymore because I don't have any more food to give you guys. Oh, you know what? Well, I'll keep the Spider Queen hat over here. Tomorrow I need a... A bit of food. And I gotta bring some logs with me. All right. Yeah, and at night times the pigs will go back to their own home. Unless you have a fire out, so... I'm gonna make some fire. But there is a glitch with the game. Well, I guess it's not a glitch, it is intentional. The pigs will attack uh, Wendy's uh, twin sister Abigail. That's kind of bad, because Abigail is a friendly. They, sh they should know better and not attack her. Alright, alright. I will carry this with me. I'll take this as well. This should be good enough. I might as well refine some of these ropes. Oh no, they're turning where? Out of all the days, it just had to be full moon today. 
What kind of bullshit is that? Oh well. Oh, by the way, I haven't checked how much Honey Ham heals. Ah, Honey Ham has been restored to its original format. Honey, or originally in the last update, Honey Ham no longer heals you quite as much, and Honey heals you 20% of your full health. But now it seems like they have made it so that Honey Ham heals you just as much as it used to. So I think I'm going to go back to carrying a stack or two of Honey Ham. Yep, you can go in there. And I'll carry these two for food. And I'll give some of my uh, berries to the bird to ward off Krampus. Where I'm going next is I am going to go to the beefalo uh, area and I'm going to be hunting beefaloes. I'll carry these logs with me. Because now you can herd beefaloes. But to herd beefaloes, you gotta hunt them. Lucky drops, you will get a uh, beefalo horn. Alright, put these logs back. Oh man, the pigs seem to remember their targets, even after you left. Stop it! Stop attacking me, pigs! Well, that's good. They they have a uh, limited range, so you can always outrun them. I think that's enough, but just to be safe, I'll carry an extra weapon with me. But I don't need these two tools, so I will store them in here. That should be good enough. Let's get going. Oh, you know what? Since uh, there are two pigs here, I might as well get a pig or two to follow me, right? So, uh, piggy, come here. Be my friend. Thanks. You too. And just double check that this nest hasn't become a queen yet. Are there any more pigs around? Mm, ah, yeah. Three pigs would be pretty nice. Here you go. Let's get going. I might as well decorate. Nah, you know what? I was about to give a pig uh, a hat, but I guess it's useless, so. Let's get going, guys. They follow a little slow, so uh, you should stop and let them catch up. When Wendy examines the pigs, she says that I still feel alone. No, 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 no! What are you guys doing? Come on! We don't have much time, so... We gotta go. Oh, by the way, beefaloes now respawn. Uh, as long as they are off-screen, so... You can hunt beefalo all you want now. Of course, my purpose of coming to this island is, is to hunt beefalo, so that will help. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh my god, there's so much! So much! Oh, there's a beefalo horn! Come on, guys. They surely walk, uh, walk really slowly. Come on! Okay. 
Come on, come on, come on, guys. At least I'm going to lead you guys to the middle of the the bridge. As you can see, the I got a beeflo horn, and when you play it, the beeflos will follow you. But since they walk so slowly, you're probably going to need three or four beefalo horns to lead them back to um, the main base. But at least they respawn now, so you can kill several several of them. Come on, guys! I want to make it to the campfire at least. So. To this campfire anyway. I got some logs to help me spend the night. Come on. How many is this? One, two, three, four. F One, two, three, four. Four beef flows. Come on. Can I make it home in time? I don't quite know. I think barely, just barely made it make it home. Come on guys. It's getting dark. Oh, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna go and spend the night on this campfire. And tomorrow I'll herd up the rest. There you go. What I'm planning to do is to bring the beefaloes that I herded into my camp. And either keep them in the middle of the pig city or I will keep them over here. Away from the, the farms of course. As a matter of fact, I can actually keep them near the spiders. They, they will do a good job of uh, keeping the spiders at bay. As you can see, I brought two pigs and the beefaloes took care of the pigs like they were nothing. That's because the beefaloes take something like eight hits with the spear to kill. So, uh, they'll do pretty well. Okay. Today was pretty successful. Tomorrow I gotta go and pick up those meat that the uh, beefaloes dropped. Beefalo wool. I can use that as fuel, but I might as well keep it here. Now it seems like I got hurt a little when I was fighting that beefalo. So I heal myself. There you go. With the new hunger bar at 200 points, I don't really need to eat as much food as often. But since this food spoils anyway, I might as well chow it down while it's still good. But anyways, when food spoils, you can just use it as fertilizer, so it won't be that bad of a that won't be that big of a deal. It also makes finding manure pointless now because well, food spoils. So, it's your new manure. When the green bar reaches halfway, the food no longer heals you as much as it used to. You won't get as full eating this food. Also, beefaloes have a mating season. Their, their butts will become red, and when they are red, and you don't have the beefalo hat on, they will attack you on sight. It kind of makes the beefalo hat become more useful now. I wonder what she says when you look at it. No, oh, there's no descriptions it seems. So just keep it on anyway. Let me check the map for just a bit. Yeah, when that spider nest, the dirt spider nest becomes a queen, I'm just going to 
remove it. I think uh, three spider nests is a little too much. Beef low horn is at 40%. Let me let me let me check this out first. So originally the beef loaves were here, and it took me forty percent to bring them here. Well then, uh, sixty percent I mean, forty more percent should bring them around here. That's good enough. I might as well let them roam this entire island. I don't think I need to go back to get more beefalo horns. Eventually, the game designers say that they will introduce a fence. A, an actual fence so that you could uh, make a fence and keep the beef loads inside a, an enclosed area where the dogs won't be able to get them. Alright beef loads, hear me play my song. Come on guys, let's go. So slow man. Oh, okay, it ran out. Come on. I think I I just managed to bring them to my island. Just just barely. Alright, where are we now? Okay, I gotta bring him north next. All right, it's over. Come on, guys. North is this direction. The reason why I don't want them near my uh, near my farms too much is because when the dogs see them, they will attack, and the beefloes will most likely win in a battle against the um, hounds. So, um, and when the beefloes beat a firehound, well then I could kiss my berry farm goodbye. Well I think that's it for my beefalo horn. Well why don't you guys enjoy your new home? This will be pretty sweet. Are there any more pigs? No, there are no pigs at all because I keep using them once they spawn. I really need to get some more rocks so that I can make a new, uh, several more beefalo homes. I think I keep rocks in my other island, in this island, so I'm gonna go there next. I also think I have some rocks in here, but I don't think I can Actually, you know what? I could make it, so... I'm gonna go down there and, uh... I'm gonna rush to that island so that I can... get some rocks. And make... more... pick homes. I wonder if I have any more rocks. To, to actually smash. Yeah, there are quite a few. Quite a few, yeah. You know what, in that case, I might as well bring a pickaxe or two. Yeah, I'll bring a pickaxe so that I could break some rocks and uh, bring back. I'm going to need quite a lot because I, I intend to build three more pig homes, so. To make a pickaxe, I will need gold, and I will need sticks. I have those two things, so I could make... Oh, I see, I see. Gold and sticks, got it. Ah, 
I won't be able to make it to that, to the middle island with this little stuff. But I'm sure I could rush to the middle island with no problems. Just barely make it to the middle island, that is. And this food is running out. It's spoiling rather fast. So I'm going to eat while it's not spoiled yet. Alright, that's good enough. Now let's make it to that uh, middle island first. It's really too bad that the king pig isn't in the swamp. Because if my king pig was in the swamp, the swamp would be a natural deterrence. When the hounds attack, the tentacles would take care of them. And you won't need to personally kill the pigs, because the pigs will walk onto the swamp. And the tentacles will kill the pigs for you. Hello piggies. I'll spend the night on this island. Alright, it's night time. I'll light this up. Oh, I, I got some food here too. These are all going to spoil if I don't... If I don't make a, uh, a refrigerator here. Now that I think about it, that kind of sucks. Oh well, whatever. Can't do anything about that now. Well, you know what? Since I'm here, I'll harvest this crock pot. Yeah, I gotta come back here and make a uh, refrigerator or two. Because these will really just rot out. These are cooked already as well, so they will rot rather quickly. Well, since they're gonna rot anyway, I may as well eat eat some. 199. Can't eat any more. I got a red gem here. <laughs> you get red gems from killing the firehounds. That was rather quick. I'll take that as well. And I will cook the next... Okay. I'll cook the next one. And I'll take some more logs with me. Alright, just waiting for daytime to come. And now I'm trying to make it to the middle island. I should really come back here and make a ice box though. But all food will spoil anyway, so it's kinda of pointless doing that. I guess keeping some pigs around, that will be my uh chest of food. Because if I'm running out of food here, I'll just kill some pigs. And if I wanted to, I'll move these spiders a little closer. So that I will always have some spider meat if I needed to. But spiders are getting more difficult to kill nowadays, so it's a bad idea to have too many spider nests. Alright. Take that with me. I'll cook yet another one. Hello, pigs. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, no. It doesn't matter. I was about to bring these pigs with me. But hey, that is not a bad idea, actually, so I will do that. Because, I mean, this food is going to spoil anyway, right? So might as well spend it to get some pig allies. Come with me, pigs. There you go. And, well, I will... I'll carry this with me, why not? Come on, guys. Let's cross this swamp area. 
careful not to step into the uh, the swamp because the tentacles will come out and bite you. I'll kill this guy first. Oh no! All right, guys, let's go. Oh no! Ah, as you can see, these two um, spoiled already, but. You know what? I, I don't. It doesn't really matter. I have um, I got a fishing rod in there, so I could always fish some more fish if they fully spoil. And this is another reason why I really like the swamp because there are frogs and fish, and they are infinite. Got some more beef loaves over here. Come on, pigs. Pigs will uh, lose interest in you in something like a day. So you gotta feed them food again. What happened? Did I just eat that? I guess so. Oh no, my vegetables, they're spoiling as well. This totally sucks. Oh, you know what? I'll carry my honey ham with me. Do I not have any rocks in these? No rocks. This is bad. And I'm pretty sure I have one or two spider queens on this island as well. Maybe even four of them. Four spider queens. Come on guys. You guys are lagging behind right, right back there. I need some rocks and logs to make a uh, fire pit, but I don't want to make one here. It will be a waste. But I do need some grass. I can get some grass in this island. So, uh, one piece. Two and three. Got it. Come on, guys. Two grass. And now it's time to feed the pigs. This way I have just enough to make myself a... Uh, a fire pit at night. I'm trying to collect the rocks, so I don't really need these uh, flints. Is there anything else I could replace at the moment? There doesn't seem to be, unfortunately. I guess I'll eat one of those, but... Where's the next rock? It's over here. Come on, piggies. There's also a spider. I'm pretty sure that's a spider queen by now. Come on, friends. Where is the next rock? Over here, straight down. Slow down a little bit so they could catch up. Now that I think about it, the pigs will naturally eat anyway, so I don't get why I need to feed them. I should really pick up the flint, but I don't have any space left, so... I do know that I don't need to pick up the gold, because, well, I have a lot of gold already. And when my food spoils, No, pigs! Damn it, damn it! Make a fire, make a fire! Make a fire! Did I just lose two pigs? Totally sucks, man. Oh, whatever. Okay, now I can pick up the flint. 
Gonna keep this fire big. Oh, there, there's actually a spear here. Did I leave this here in the past? Oh. Whatever, I'll just wait, wait this night out. Hello, pigs. Yes, in the nighttime they fall asleep, so. They make this really weird sleeping noise. Hello, pig. Oh, he came back. I know I lost him, so. Oh, well, the sex. Their, their sleeping noise sounds like scratches. It's really weird. I don't know how, what real noises the pigs, the real pigs make, but this is definitely doesn't sound like real pigs. All right, so I got 21 rocks. That's definitely enough to make maybe three, no, two more, two, or, yeah, three, three more pig houses. Okay, this just sucks. If you can hear in the background, hounds are coming. And so to make it actually make it out alive, I gotta I gotta wake these pigs up. And the only way that I know how is by feeding them. Hopefully they won't come before getting really, really loud. Oh, they're here. Wake up, pig! Eggs, kill them! Oh my god, there's so many! How many survived, how many died? Oh, no pigs got killed. That's good. And I think... Pigs, come back here! Well, I lost two pigs. It doesn't matter though. I mean, I survived at least. Flint. Some rocks. Some more rocks. Are there any more rocks here? There's one rock to the south, so I'll pick that up. As you can see, the, the amount of dogs that come are getting larger and larger in number, so if you don't have pigs, you're definitely going to get spawn, uh, get run over. That's the main reason why I'm here, collecting sto stones, so that I can make more pig homes. I don't want to bump into the spider queen to my west. And since I got hurt, I'm pretty sure honey ham heals me quite a bit. Yeah, honey ham heals you something like 30 now. So it's back to its usual really high healing effect. I don't need gold and I don't have room for it. So I'm gonna drop it here. One, two, three, four, four more rocks. I gotta hurry up. Oh, you know what? I have 39 rocks. I won't be able to carry any more because I don't have any more space. Actually, I do have space because that, that log suit is only at 4%. So I might as well gather these two rocks. And then we get out of here. Oh no, I ran out. Oh, I picked up gold, that's why. Alright, we are good. And this is the last piece of rock.
I wonder if this is the last rock on my island. No, no. There, there are several more rocks. Three more rocks on my, in my world. And you know what? I'm going to eat this ham. So that I one free space. This way I could, um... Let me bribe my little pigs one more time first. Okay, good. They are bribed. It should be just north of here. Take the egg! And run! Come on, guys. Oh no! The, the bird saw us. Well, whatever. Let's go, guys. The birds seem to respawn nowadays anyway, so... I haven't seen the two pigs that went home first, so I don't know if they made it or not. Well, the reason why you want the pigs that you bring to different islands with you at all times is because if the pigs don't make it home, the, that pig house won't be respawning any more pigs. Because the pig house thinks the pigs are still alive. Therefore, will not spawn pigs because they are still alive. That kind of sucks. Well, this night we'll be spending it. Now, you know what? I, I can make it to the other island, so I'm gonna. Come on, pigs. Just barely make it to the to the the swamp island. Can I? Come on, pigs. Oh my god, is it I think we'll spike. Well I kiss the pigs goodbye, because they're gonna die. Well, In this case, I will be spending it on this island. My cam is to the south. Hello, Abigail. Oh, as you can see, they rot uh, the two vegetables that were The two vegetables that were uh, nearly rotting became rots. No, no, don't eat it! Damn, I thought she was gonna eat it. Well, she ate it, but there wasn't any danger of me eating it, though. Hmm. Well, whatever. I can't dump anything else down though, so uh, I gotta keep everything else with me. Well, I, I guess now that food rots and become uh, fertilizers, I could focus on making more of these uh, farm plots because it you would be on a surplus. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll start making farm plots again. What do you need to make farm plots anyway? You need, you need rocks. I think I'm going to make maybe three or four more pick houses, and anything left over I'll, I'll use to make the farm pots. And if it's not enough, I'm going to come to this island to destroy my entire, entire farm plot here, and move it back to my main, main home base. Whoa, whoa, don't fight him. I don't want to kill him. Oh, this is about to rot, so I better eat this up. I wonder if I have any 
specialty ingredients to cook something special. I know you could cook something with eggplant, so I will put eggplant in here, and I think you need like a corn or something in here. So a corn and eggplant and two meats. This should give me something special, I don't remember what though. Oh well, everything else is gonna rot. Oh, the ghost is attacking the, the beefalo anyway. And, and I got an extra beefalo horn. That's kind of cool. I didn't intend for the ghost to kill him that way, though. But... It all worked out. Oh, there's another piece of meat on the floor. I'll take that. Alright, now we are going on our home stretch, going back to base camp. We will take the shortcut to reach our original base first, of course. The swamp base, to see if the two pigs came back. I don't think they did, but if they did come back, that would be pretty good. Yes, see, the pigs did not make it. That means they are trapped somewhere in these two islands. And that means two of these houses are completely useless. Well, shit happens, so... I ought to spend some time in the swamp later on so that I could kill the tentacles for their spikes. I still have a lot left, so um, it isn't a problem yet. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, we're finally back home. And a lot of the pigs are have respawned, that is good. Is there a space in my ice box? No, there isn't. You know, I'm gonna store my meat in there. Logs go in here. Where do I put the eggs? You know what? Eggs can go just just be out here. That's fine. I should eat these before they rot. I got a bunch of stones so that I can make the houses. And I got some flint too. Flint can go in here. Flint is full? What? No way. Oh, I got some rocks. I'll take the rocks. Flint can be going here. I need the pig skins too, so uh... Unfortunately, little piggies, I think I gotta kill you guys to make more of you guys. Yeah, yeah, I gotta kill them to make more of them. I think I got some in here though. Yep, two pig skins and I will put this down. And I'll make one. Oh, you need planks. Planks and stone. I'll refine one, two, and three. And four planks. Oh my god, the pigs! I don't want to kill the pigs, but I have to. Because I don't have enough of those pig skins. Unfortunately, they don't always drop those pig skins either. And because I haven't been feeding my bird...
I gotta feed the bird back because I was I, I heard Krampus his hissing so I'm gonna feed this entire pile to him Alright, alright, I got I need some planks to actually make the houses. Give me my planks. Ten planks will be enough. And it's night time again. Hello Abigail. Out of the way, please. Well, there's nothing that I could do except wait. Oh, as for another thing regarding this update is that there is a uh, dog that you could get in this game. It's called Chester. In order to control the dog, which you could be befriend, you need to have a bone with an eyeball on top. The dog can die when the hounds come and attack it. But it won't normally aggro your enemies. And if the hounds manage to kill the dog, as long as you have that bone, the hound, uh, the chester, which is like a walking chest, you can open him up and put stuff in him. He will respawn every few days if he gets killed. Unfortunately, I can't get him because only people, with, um, only you can only get him if you restart your game. And I don't really see a need to restart my map as of yet. Because if I restart my map now, and then later on, a week later, when a new update comes, and they introduce another new item, they will say restart your game again, and what would be the point of that? I would have to restart my game anyway, so I might as well wait until the real game comes out some way, sometime in March. And then I'll restart the game all over. And this time I will have all of the updates. So I'm not going to restart my game just to get the dog, since it will die anyway against the hounds and everything. Instead I'm going to wait until much later when the real game comes out, the full game comes out. And then I'll restart it. Alright, we are good. I'm running low on honey actually, so I'm gonna get some more later. I think I have one pig skin in my um, other island, so I'm going to be going back for it. And then I'll be making two two pick houses at the same time. Yep, I'm going to be rushing for my other island so I can get the pig skins. I'm pretty sure Krampus won't be coming yet, because I've been feeding the bird. I just fed it an entire stack. And But I should hurry though. And this island only has two pigs now because two of them got got separated. <laughs> All right, we are here. Let's see if we have any um, pig skins in any of these chests. I might as well harvest this, since this meat is rotting anyway, so I might as well cook new one. Alright, there's no pig skins here. I do know that there is a pig skin on the other island, so... Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, that, that's a spider queen right there. 
Can't do anything about him though. Because he's too powerful for me to take care of alone. <clears throat> there is a pig skin right here, I remember. Here it is. I don't want to fight the tentacle yet. But I do know that there is another pig skin inside one of the... Oh, as you can see, the beefaloes have red butts. That means it's it's mating season. And if you don't have the beefalo hat on, they will chase you. So you obviously want to have it on. And this is the specialty food that I was talking about before. This is called a stuffed eggplant. And since I have a, an extra space here, I might as well cook it. Where is my monster meats? Monster meat. Two monster meat and a corn, I think. And one corn. Cook. Alright, there it is. It will cook rather quickly because it's a vegetable dish. And as you can see here, I have an entire farm plot of these. Um, a huge bunch of farm plots. But I won't be moving those. I like how it looks. Instead, I'll try to make a new one with the amount of rocks I have on me. I should be able to make quite a bit with this amount of rock. Hopefully the spider queen will kill itself in the swamp, fighting tentacles and such. But there is no guarantee it will happen. But right now, I, my only concern is to go back and make more big camps, big houses. I'm on the right path. Yep, I can make how many? Two, I think. No, I could only make one big house. I'm missing one pig skin. Well, even if I could only make one, I might as well make it now. So that I get a new pig to kill immediately. I will place a, a house right over here. Why, why can't I place it there? There you go. And I get an extra pig skin right away so that I can make another pig house right over here. I won't need to kill him yet. But I will kill him eventually. And I'm pretty sure that Krampus will be coming soon. Anytime now. And my stuff is getting really low, unfortunately, but whatever. I'll feed some to the bird. And I'll eat my stuffed eggplant. Light my fire up. Hello, Abigail. Out of my way. Some seeds for you. Thirty-one percent. My weapons at thirty-one percent. Uh, yeah, I'll research it now. The weapons are best kept at one hundred percent. This way, when you're fighting somebody, it won't just snap in your hands. And I gotta collect the honey tomorrow. <clears throat> and I have no pig skin to make more houses. Right now, I think I have, uh, how many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. I have 9 pick houses. That's quite a bit. And unfortunately, my food is all rotting away. Well, since it's rotting away, I might as well eat some, right? 
Oh, you know what? Since this is all uncooked, I'm going to cook them all to make them last longer. I'm just clicking this as quick as I can so that I can cook them faster. Yeah, this is a trick to maintain food longer for double the length that you would normally maintain it. And be sure to put cooked meat back inside a refrigerator once you've cooked it. Because it won't be lasting very long inside your inventory. There you go. Also, uh, regarding these uh, roasted berries, there is really no way of cooking them because they are already cooked. But you can cook this meat, so I'm going to cook this meat right now. I don't want to lose so much food all in one day, so... I'm gonna cook as much of them as I can. Also, something to note regarding the food that rots, such as these berries. I have 40 of them, right? But when they rot, they become one rot, I think. So a stack of 40 condenses into one. It's definitely not worth it, so... You should feed it to the pigs or something like that. There you go. Come on, me cook faster. Alright, this is good enough for now. And well, I guess this will have to go. As for these roasted berries, the way to recycle these is to feed them to the pigs. Oh, they're not taking it. I've heard about them updating it so that the pigs don't eat it as fast. Well, they're not going to eat it anymore, I'm going to give it to birds. I'm really stuffing this bird full. Oh. And as for extra berries that you have lying around, cook them. They make a vegetable dish that doesn't really heal you that much, nor stuff you that well, but at least it doesn't rot, so it doesn't rot as fast. Oh, the fire went out. And tomorrow I gotta go and get some more wood. Wood and charcoal. Oh, my Fruit dish is done.
Yep, I'm going to con convert all of my uh, rotting berries into the fruit dish. And then I'll store that inside a refrigerator. There you go, another fruit dish. Oh, by the way, I have to check on the... I've got to check on the beefaloes that are on my island. I wonder how they are doing. And in the meantime, I'll harvest some honey. The bees do attack you when you harvest the honey, so... A lot of bees are chasing me. Run away. Where are the bee flows on my island? There they are. Lots more now. Very nice. Soon they will become my poop machines. Get out of my way. I'm trying to get that poop under you. Alright, alright. This is good. Make some more poop for me, please. Ah, there you go. Oh, my berries are rotting. Oh, I'll cook them inside this pot as well. Oh, and I might as well get some last honey for the night. Go away, bees. I don't want to fight you guys. Luckily for me, the bees have a range... Um, limited range of following you, so you can always outrun them. Finally, I will use some charcoal and light up the campfire to the max. Now harvest this and cook some more berries again. And I'm dreadfully scared of Krampus coming, so I'm gonna feed some more to the birds. Is it full? Oh, it's not full. For a second there, I thought that I fed the maximum amount and the bird wasn't going to take anymore. Alright, the bird is full. The fire is up. I got some manure. I need some grass, manure, and rocks to make a uh, farm plot, so... I'll prepare that for tomorrow. Grass, manure, and farm plots. I need to get some more grass then. Oh, the, the fruit dish is done. There you go. And I have some extra space, so I'll store my fruit and cooked meals in there. Oh. I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to eat something. 175. This should bring me to flat 200, and I'll carry this around for healing. This is my pickaxe, which I don't use anymore, so I could store it in there. Yep, this is good enough. Ah, the fruit dish is done. I'll harvest this. And I will cook the next meal, which would be made of monster meat. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll keep the honey. And I'll put an extra monster meat in there. Because honey stores longer, so... And you can't cook honey, right? Yeah, I thought, not. I thought so, you can't cook honey. Yep, and the fruit dish will go in here. Yep, this is good. What was it that I need again? I need manure, grass, and rocks. Got it. So today I'm going to get some more grass. And make a large farm plot. Considering how food now spoils, 
and when it spoils, they basically become infinite manure. So that you could fertilize the farm plots without losing a material. Yes, as you can see from me playing this game, this game is, has a lot to do with... has quite a bit to do with repetitive actions. As of all farming, I guess, but... It's strangely relaxing doing all of these repetitive actions. Oh yes, you never need to worry about food that is placed in the crockpots or on the berry trees. They never rot, as long as you don't pick it up. I'm guessing it's the same for seeds on the floor as well. As long as you don't pick it up, they won't rot. Oh no! I have some... Oh, okay. Where's the meat? This stuff is going to rot. I've forgotten all about this. I gotta take all of this meat and cook them. So that they would stay longer. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I can't give them the monster meat to the pigs because when they eat monster meat, they will turn. When you give enough monster meats to the pigs, they will become were pigs, so you don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, I'm almost done with my grass farm. I'm pretty happy about the beefaloes. They've been reproducing rather quickly. So I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, so what is it I need? Now I need eight manure, which I don't think I have. Yeah, I only have three. And the uh, fruit will go in here. <clears throat> Seeds will be given to the bird. And I'll put some grass inside this treasure chest, because I've got too much. I've got... I can make the simple farm plots, but uh, I don't want to do that, because they grow really slowly. If you're going to make any farm plots at all, make the turbo farm plots. Because they will... form a new... Uh, plant within a day. So, yeah. Come on, guys, poop more so I can take them. I think I see a poop. Yeah? No more manures. But I could make a turbo farm plot, so... I'll do that. I'll let you guys breed in peace. Oh yeah, I gotta cook all of that food. But uh, first things first, I'm going to make another farm plot. Which direction should I make it go? Well, I do have space. So I will put one right over here, as close as I can to the others. There you go. And I will have to have some time before I can make another, because I don't have any manure. So... Oh, I'll harvest some honey. Since I got some space left. And whenever you add onto your original stack, the durability of the stack will increase. So that's also helpful. But as of right now, I will spend the night on this campfire. Cooking this rotting meat.
This way I get a brand new stack of uh, unspoiled food. Of course you can't eat monster meat directly anyway. You have to cook it again via the crockpot. But at least my monster meat won't spoil. Seems like the honey is spoiling as well. Well, there is a trick to the honey since the honey is the easiest to maintain. All you gotta do is take a stack of honey, eat some of it, and then take some more honey from the bee farms and you will have a fresh stack of honey I'll show you when tonight is over oh I don't need the wooden boards anymore so I'll put that away when tomorrow comes <clears throat> well, these can, well, they can't really keep, so... Yeah, first food that I have to finish off is the meaty stews. Alright, so as you can see, these two honeys are something like three-fourth fresh. So all you gotta do is get some honey, add on to the pile. Oh wait, I gotta eat some first. One from each, that would be good. Harvest some honey and it will add on to its freshness. You should get more, of course. Go away, bees. Hmm, this is weird. I don't think it's... Oh, I think I have two of them. Gotta put one back in first. And also, this is... This needs to be a uh, refrigerator. This needs to be an ice box. How do I make an ice box again? Rocks... Gold and planks. Do I have to, though? Yeah, rocks, gold, and blanks. <clears throat> rocks, gold, and planks. There you go. We will have an extra ice box. This backpack will have to be moved. And I will have an ice box somewhere. There you go. I'm not going to make it symmetrical this time because, well, I'm running out of rocks. I was wondering why it was spoiling so much faster over here than the other side. Well, that's because it's not in an icebox. Well, here it is. It should be slower now. And I gotta drop this bag back to its original spot. There you go. I should go get myself some more... Oh, 
Oh no! Seems like what I saw. I thought that when you add more stuff into it, it will refresh the pile, but it doesn't refresh it quite as much as I would want it to. So. Oh well, as, as long as it's still edible now, I'm pretty happy about that. I'll just keep cooking this rotten meat. Because this stuff has to go. If I don't eat them now, well they're going to spoil. So. And I've gotten some more manure from these guys. Is there any more? Yep. It's pretty cool that they're chilling on the east side over here. How many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six of them. Seems like they've slowed down. And my little swamp here still isn't spawning any tentacle spikes. And I'm afraid this egg is going to become a queen rather soon. Hello, piggy. How many pigs do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine pick homes. I want to add maybe one over here and one over here. And then I will have 11. That will be pretty good. Alright, I've forgotten to paralyze this, this plot. Since I don't have enough manure anyway. Get out of here. Oh, it's fertilized. Alright, then I need some seeds. Here you are. And I will have some seeds for the bird. Hello birdie. Alright, and Abigail's with me again tonight. I really need to spend some time chopping trees. Yep, I need to make another turbo farm plot tomorrow. And then we will be pretty much on schedule. I'm gonna check the meat to see if they're decaying. They are turning pretty well on, on time. Also, I don't seem to be getting as hungry as I used to. Not, not only did they increase the hunger bar, they also seem to have slowed down the hunger rate. So I'm just almost permanently full. Three pieces of manure, not enough. Alright, I gotta put away my planks. And well, that's basically it for this episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time.